Longtime viewers know that I am a huge fan of the Jim Baker show. Jim Baker is the far right televangelist who claimed that he went to prison for fraud because of cancel culture. That it wasn't him getting punished for a crime that he was found guilty of. That was cancel culture in action. Now, I haven't been tuning in recently, but boy, am I mad that I missed this. And I don't know why nobody in my audience brought this to my attention sooner. But he had a guest on. Jim wasn't here, but he had a woman on. Her name was Sharon Gilbert. And she is going to share a story that is truly excellent. And again... If you ever see something like this, I'm going to need you to DM me this on Twitter, email it to me, because the fact that I'm only seeing this now when everyone already knows about this, I mean, someone as terminally online as me should have already seen this, but nonetheless, I'm here to talk about this now because how could I not? Take a look. After Derek and I got married, one night, this other Derek appears in our bed. The real Derek is lying down next to me. Other Derek sits right up out of him. It startled me. I knew that was not Derek. And so I asked this critter, who are you? Because he clearly wanted to have sexual relations. I'm going to come. And I said, he said, come on, I'm your husband. I said, who are you? And he had the nerve to claim to be Ahasuerus, Xerxes. Well, other Derek seriously wanted to invite me to use my free will to do something that was going to pull me away from God. So this last time, I knew he was really desperate. And I asked him again, who are you? He told me the same answer. And I said, I'm not going with you. This was an internal dialogue. Finally, I said, I've had enough in my mind. I reached up. I grabbed his face. And I said, you are a liar. And Jesus is real. And I pulled that face off. And beneath it was a reptile. And he had little creatures with him this time. He brought these little halfling creatures, and they looked like, I don't know, gargoyles. They were very reptilian as well. So beneath that face of Derek was a reptilian serpentine creature, probably similar to what was visiting the Anasazi. Wow. Well, the Bible said... Now, I know that you think I'm just going to make fun of her, but I'm not going to do that. I actually believe her. Hear me out. I actually believe her. And the reason why I believe her is because I actually experienced something really similar when I first got married as well. So I saw this creature like maybe two, three weeks after my wedding. Uh, every single night at around 2 to 3 a.m. in the morning, it was standing in the corner of my room. And I mean, five, six, seven nights in a row. Same thing, same time. It was the creature just right there standing in the corner of my room. And I was, I was just, I was crippled with fear. I didn't know what to say. Finally, one night I worked up the courage to say, what do you want from me? Because I mean, if you see this dark figure there and it's mimicking the face of your loved one, then clearly there, there's, there's something supernatural going on. But I said, what do you want from me? And it responded with, I'm going to suck your dick. And so I thought, wait, this this alien-like creature who's very clearly mimicking my spouse wants to suck my dick. That doesn't... What? So, unlike Sharon, I actually did allow this um, alien to do that. And I've got to say, I'm really glad that I did. Because uh, not only did the apparition stop appearing at that point, and yes, I did find out that I was a reptilian, but after that, um, I couldn't have been happier. Because alien pussy is out of this fucking world. I'm going to excuse myself. <laughs> okay, real quick. I want to see the transition again when she ends the story and what the, the people listening said. Was a reptilian serpentine creature probably similar to what was visiting the 
Anasazi. Wow. wow. Well, the Bible said. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Anyways, Genesis 13 3 says. <laughs> I mean, honestly, to be fair to them, I don't know how I would respond if somebody said that and you're on television. I mean, do you do you respond? Do you say, wow, that's that's an interesting story, Sharon. Tell me more, because I would immediately have so many questions like we wouldn't be able to move on from this subject. But the man with the ponytail and glasses was a professional because he moved on immediately because you don't acknowledge that shit. You just dismiss it and move on. Now, before we get to the substance of what Sharon was saying here, um, there's a lot of other questions that are unanswered for me that I, I want to ask you about as well. I don't know if you saw the Chiron, but they were hawking a DVD, ironically titled The Great Delusion by none other than Josh Peck. Now, I'm not sure if that's the Josh Peck from uh, Drake and Josh on Nickelodeon, but I'm just going to assume that it is. But that's not the part that stood out to me. What stood out to me the most was the fact that there was no Blu-ray option, apparently. I mean, it's 2021 and i can't get the great delusion on blu-ray it's only available on dvd what if i want to watch it on blu-ray is it on netflix i mean are you offering cds of the great delusion hosted by josh peck from nickelodeon it's just bizarre so okay let's get to her story so i trans transcribed some of this which was completely unnecessary but of course you knew that i would do do that um okay so the other Derek appeared in her bed. There was a clone of her husband. Um, and according to her, he clearly wanted to have sexual relations. And she later claims that he seriously wanted to smash. So when she says this, she makes it very, very clear that the alien was showing signs that it wanted to have sexual intercourse with her. So that begs the question, did it have a boner? Did it say, let's smash? Did it say, I want to suck your dick, Sharon? Like the alien that I saw said to me. I mean, what? how like how do you know this i mean what was it doing was it like trying to butter you up was it massaging your feet i need to know more about this and i wish that the man uh who was on the panel with her asked her that also um when she asked who he was she said his name was xerxes now <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i don't know what it is about that name the first time i saw this i watched it like a hundred times by now the first time i saw this and she said the name xerxes I lost my fucking shit. I don't know why that made me laugh so hard. I'm kind of over it now. I laughed so hard. It was Xerxes. What? Sharon, I don't know who your drug dealer is. Please, for the love of God, let everyone know. So, you know, you, you share what you're getting because I want that. Whatever you're taking, I'll have it. Now, for the grand finale, I have to quote her verbatim. I grabbed his face and I said... You are a liar, and Jesus is real. Um, I don't know why she inexplicably brought up Jesus. I'm assuming that she brought up Jesus so that way she can, like, imply that she used the power of Jesus to banish the horny reptilian. But it's like she said these two disconnected words. You are a liar, and Jesus is real. I think I'm going to say that to anyone who says something that I don't like from now on. You are a liar, and Jesus is real. And I pulled off that face. <laughs> and beneath it was a reptile. <laughs> and he had little creatures with him this time. <laughs> I'm trying to collect myself. I can't. He had these little hailing, he had these little creatures with him. I don't, I think I fucked up with the transcription. He had these creatures with him and they looked like, I don't know, gargoyles. And they were very reptilian as well. Sharon, listen, if you ever see this video, I want to be friends with you. And I'm not saying that sarcastically. I'm not trying to be condescending. I'm not trying to be facetious. I genuinely want to be friends with you. Because if that's a story that you're willing to tell in front of an audience of perhaps thousands of people, what kind of stories does Sharon have when the cameras are off? She has to be the most interesting woman ever. Um, so, yeah, she convinced me I will go to church this Sunday because of Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. May the Lord Jesus bless you. Fuck Xerxes. I'm going to come. Do not come, 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 come
Come. Come. Come.